In this video, we'll look at whether chromium-3 chloride, that's CrCl3, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To do that, we need to look at the neutralization reaction that produced the chromium-3 chloride. So here we have hydrochloric acid plus this chromium-3 hydroxide, and that gives our chromium-3 chloride the salt and water. It's a neutralization reaction. So to figure out whether CrCl3 is acetic, basic, or neutral, we need to figure out the strength of the acid in the base. Then we can use these rules here. So this is a really good table to memorize, list of the strong acids and strong bases. If we look for HCl right there, hydrochloric acid. That's a strong acid, little SA up there. Then chromium-3 hydroxide. We know it's a base, we have a metal, and then we have this hydroxide group here. As I look down the list, though, I don't see it. These are the strong bases. It's not there, so it's going to be a weak base. So now we know the strength of the acid and the base. We can figure out whether the solution is going to be acetic, basic, or neutral. So looking at our rules, we're looking for a strong acid and a weak base. Here's a strong acid and a weak base. When they react, neutralize, produce this chromium-3 chloride, the pH is going to be less than 7. That's going to be an acetic solution. So in answer to the question, chromium-3 chloride is going to form an acetic solution when it's dissolved in water. pH will be less than 7. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.